When I go out next time, I'll, I'll come back with a Christmas tree. Hey, look, if you're using this as a scare tactic, you know, making me think that you fell down and cracked your head on the floor, it's not gonna work. I mean, I invented the silent treatment as a scare technique back in the 50s. So, stay in there forever, I don't care. Jenna! I'm coming in! Oh, no, you don't! Put that door back where you found it, Buzz Cooper! You're taking a bath. <laughs> yes, a sponge bath. Would you hand me something, please? A towel or something? Here. Used to be Harley's. Thank you. What are you looking at? Tom. Boyer. When did you get those? Well, after I lost the hearing, thanks to you, I packed up all I could and put it into storage and then had it sent here while you were gone. Gee, but can I can I help? No, you can't help me. I don't know why you brought me here, but if it's anything what what it looks like, I'd rather sleep in the gutter. Jenna, you locked yourself in the loo, would not answer me. Of course I'm worried. You just got out of the hospital. <sighs> I was not talking to you because I was furious with you. Because if you forget, you accused me of shooting my husband. No, I didn't accuse you. I asked you, just like you asked me if I offed Roger. Well, not everyone's defense is fighting back, you know. There are other ways. Well, I'm sorry if I offended you. Let's have a little ceasefire, okay? Or we chow now. Uh, look, I, I don't mind, but it's sort of lukewarm now, you know? And, and the cheese, you, when it gets cooled down, it doesn't really turn back to cheese, so... I'll heat it up for you. I'm not hungry. You gotta keep up your strength. For the baby's sake. Would you leave my baby out of this? And please stop being so damn nice. If you really cared about me and my child, then you wouldn't have walked into that courtroom at the last minute waving this unholy agreement which lost everything I had in the world. Mm -hmm. No, not everything. Oh, yes, right. You would prefer if I really didn't have anything left. Except maybe the clothes on my back and even that. You probably would prefer I didn't have, so I'd be totally dependent on you for robes and food. Well, if you think I'm going to be dependent on you for food, you're oh. wrong. I saved about $100 no. or more. Would you? I can feed myself, and then I'll figure out what to do. Would you stifle it, baby? You know, you are a big blabbermouth, lady. I think I like you better when you're moping in the bathroom. Fine. For, what? for one thing, and I'll say this one more time, I did what I did so that you could be independent, which is what you came on saying you wanted a way to get out of Roger's evil clutches. And I gave you that way. I mean, maybe I wouldn't have done it if I knew he was swimming with the fishes, but you gotta admit it worked. I mean, <laughs> you're so independent, I'm the only friend you have in the world. That's what you'd like to believe. Oh, you egomaniac. And as for designs, what I've done for you, I would have done for any stray mutt. Woof, woof, woof. But hey, if you think you'd get somebody to take you in, you know? I mean, you know, head of state that you've charmed? Hey, go for it! I think that sounds like a marvelously bloody good idea. It's exactly what I'm going to do. Yes, I would appreciate it, Dylan, if you could tell Henry Chamberlain that Jenna Bradshaw called. Donna, it's Mistress... Uh, uh, Jenna, it's Jenna. Hi. Do you remember that you said that your mother has a pull-out bed in your apartment and, and that I could use this bed anytime I needed to? Well, I need to now. Ah. Oh, she's wallpapering the whole apartment. No, I can see that would be a problem. I'm going to be uh, staying with Henry and Vanessa Chamberlain. Isn't that Vanessa Lewis? I mean, you're going to be camping out at Billy Lewis's house. Well, not that it's any business of yours, but yes. And I'd rather prefer that you not call the house and disturb the family. 
at all hours of the day. Oh, wouldn't dream of it. Believe me, when it comes to you, out of sight is out of mind. Uh, um, will you need a cab, or will Henry be getting on his motorcycle and picking you up? Well, being the gentleman that Henry is, he did offer, but I think that it's too late for him to be driving at night, so I think, yes, I, I could use a cab. Oh, well, anything for your ladyship. Wow, it's great. Come on. Oh, yes. Uh, could I have a cab sent to 55 Elm Street as soon as possible? Thank you. Well, thank you. Hey, no sweat. Charming phrase. But you know, I really do think that you really should eat before you go. Would you please stop shoving this vile in my face and stop pampering me like I'm a baby? And don't look at me the way Roger always looked at me the minute he found out that I was pregnant, treating me like some brood mare who has to be carefully taken care of because she's going to fall or whatever it is they do. I have never, ever looked at anything in my life the way Roger looks at it. And don't you ever, ever compare me to him again. And when it comes to naked women, I have seen my share of them. Naked pregnant women. And you look less than a brood mare than any one of them ever did when you were sponging yourself. You had no right to break down that door. I didn't break it down. Who do you think you are, Rex Harrison? <laughs> oh, let go of me. You think you're Scarlett O'Hara? Oh, let go of me. Did I hurt you? Are you okay? Did I hurt you? Would you just shut up and kiss me? You know, I, uh, not, that, not I, that, that I want you to think that I was thinking about your breeding potential or anything like that, but um, you did have a, a medical problem, and it is, I mean, is it okay to... To... Yeah, it's okay. I asked the doctor. You did? <laughs> you, did. you mean there's no surprises here? Mm -hmm. You mean, like, you laid this trap for me? And I sort of just marched in like, like it was my choice. When, when did you start planning this maneuver? The day my car broke down and this man by the name of Rex Mancini offered to fix it. It's about the time I started laying my plans. Oh. So who did we think we were fooling? I don't know, ourselves, maybe. Mm -hmm. Don't you think you should call Henry and, and tell him you're not gonna come? Don't you think you should call the cab company and tell them I'm not going to come? <laughs> nah. Let them let run it up into the billions, just like I lost for you. Oh, I shouldn't have brought that subject up. I know, you're going to tell me to shut up, I can tell, and, and kiss you.